Next Generation News Round. Today we are outside Glencoff Primary School where we are going to find out the story about plastic in this school. On our last democracy day, the school prioritised going plastic free. After we talked with Mrs Bolt, we were informed that a group of children are doing some research on plastic waste. So let's see what they have found. We want to make a difference by cutting down the plastic we use in our school. There is around 30 children in each class in the foundation phase, so between year 3 and year 2, that is around 150 children, 50 times 150 by 5, that gives you 750 milk bottles recycled, and we want to try and reduce that. To do this, we will be using two little milk bottles. The children will bring in their own beakers and they will each get a little bit of milk from this. This will help us cut down on the plastic we use in the school. Do you know that the milk bottles our school use are not biodegradable? They take 450 years to decompose. Did you know our school alone uses 25,350 milk bottles a year? Yeah, I just want to know something. What? Well, I was doing some research and I found out that a hundred million different kinds of marine life die from plastic pollution each year. Really? Yeah. It's terrible. And I also found out that while plastic can decompose, but sometimes it can't and that's terrible, when it does decompose, it's toxic to other creatures. Okay, now that's really bad. Is there anything we can do about it, like donate or...? Uh, well, yeah, actually, of course, you can actually recycle plastic and take any of And you can donate to charities such as Oceana. Where'd that guy come from? You know who <laughs> So through our journey so far, we have learned that plastic is also affecting animals. Now we are going to hand you, up, hand you over to Megan and Sophie in the roundhouse who have written a lovely poem about us. Plastic gliding through the cryptic sea, dolphins darting by. The silence heavy in the unbreathable air. The dolphins didn't deserve to die. A bird stoops down, curiosity gleaming in his eyes. Plastic lays on the deserted sand. One man's waste is another man's treasure. The bird gets stuck and joins death's band. A turtle creeps along the shore, plastic lying there. The turtle thought she had found a friend. The humans just don't care. Now you know what happens. Please help out. These creatures don't deserve this pain. How would you like it? Please get off the animal abuse train. Now we are going to introduce you to some children who wrote a letter to Swansea Council and their local assembly members. So let's see what they wrote. We have written a letter about our problem with plastic milk bottles and we have sent it to Rob Stewart, the head of Swansea Council, Mike Hedges, our assembly member, and Kerry Evans, our local Morriston councillor. Plastic bottles take up to 450 years to decompose. We want to use two litre milk bottles. In Swansea, we waste 5,200,000 milk bottles a year. introduce you to Clinkockland's Eco Committee. They will be talking to you about their visit to Sally Holland's office, the Children Commissioner of Wales. Last month we did a revisit to Sally Holland, the Children's Commissioner for Wales, because in January she asked us to go to her building for the first time to see how eco-friendly she was being. We are going to be talking about the tips that we gave Sally Holland. We surveyed them over four categories, which were paper, energy, food waste and electricity. Sally Holland did a car share day with some of her colleagues. Some other tips we gave was to use low energy light bulbs and to turn off the heating and lights when they didn't need it. We asked them for a food thing, but the council wouldn't let them because they went to cafe or restaurant. We told them to use both sides of the paper and to use technology in, instead of paper and meetings and to use biodegradable glitter. Thanks, Thanks for listening. Now there is a 
a group that is trying to fundraise to stop their school from using plastic straws. They are also trying to promote stainless steel straws. Hi Future Generation News fans, I'm Molly, this is Maddie and this is Tabby. Today I'll be telling you about our fundraising ideas. We'll be doing two fundraising projects. Our first one is a big sale. Our second one is non-school uniform, you have to pay a pound. There's 130 foundation face, so that means the 650 straws won't be wasted a week. So please help us raise £86.45 to get rid of these. That's all from us now. Bye! Bye. We have learned that plastic waste is very harmful to the environment. And that we should definitely start to cut down on it. I'm Emily Yates. And I'm Joe Taylor. And, and thank you for watching this episode of Future Generation News.